Hello Data Vaulters. Welcome to our series of presentations providing an orientation to Data Vault 2. This is a seven part series and this video is part four, an introduction to our case study. Let's choose an area we may know something about, a package holiday business. We have a very successful company called Data Vault Breaks. The holiday business has many entities of interest. These include customers, those who we contract with who book and pay for a holiday, bookings, which is really a sale. Holidays are made up of an assembly of items, booking items. Hotels where people stay and they may belong to our business or we may have pre-bought a number of nights for the year or we may go to a bed bank. Flights, which are seats for each passenger and journeys of multiple legs and open jaw returns. Passengers, those who actually go on the holiday, the customer doesn't have to travel. Resorts or geographic areas. And airports connecting flights, gateways to resorts or serving a home region. And there are many, many more accounts, credit lines, transfers, experiences, seasons, brands, campaigns, brochures, and so on. Our typical travel business will also have a number of systems where that data is buried. There'll be a booking system, taking bookings, assembling holidays and administering payments. A flight reservation system will book flight tickets. A hotel bed bank will provide details of available accommodation in resorts at trade prices. Customers are supported by reps, collected from the airport, allocated rooms, sold extras, gathering feedback etc using an in-resort management system. CRM is used to support the call centre and respond to customer service requests and complaints. A call centre system is used to route calls, support queues, implement a menu system, dial out and support efficient and effective call centre operations. The website will promote the holidays on offer provide information about the business and act as an order taking front end to the booking system. Email is used as one channel for marketing and communicating with customers and suppliers. Finance tracks invoicing, payments, refunds with suppliers and customers, as well as tracking budgets, calculating profitability and making cash flow forecasts. So what will we build? This is the classic Data Vault 2 layer architecture, and we need to connect up all of the potential feeder systems. This probably will take some time. If we do this without thinking, we could just produce a big plan showing when these systems will come online. But wait, we're agile. We should ask our customers to prioritize work. It's likely we'll end up in a different place. Maybe other data sources such as weather can be added or they want to focus on particular data sets because of a business need. We should identify small increments of delivery we can deliver in a sprint. Now perhaps our users have told us the booking table is very important. They want to know about revenue recognition across the year and the number of active customers. So we need to develop a staging load of bookings data. We need to split it out into the vault into hubs, links and satellites. We need to construct a simple mart, build a dashboard and perhaps load some historical data as well. We have to build a complete end-to-end -end path in the sprint. So that sprint will be very busy. We need to write SQL scripts, data handling scripts and a dashboard. We need to get users accessing the data. We need to produce documentation document the requirements, and so on. That's a challenge for early iterations, but this all gets easier as we progress through the project. So in summary, you'll need to do some upfront work to identify the scope and pump prime the requirements. You'll need to engage with users, and you'll need to get data flowing end-to-end -end across the layers. If you need to get hold of more detailed information, you can download user group presentations from the user group website. We also offer Data Vault 2 and information governance related blogs and white papers from our company site. These are all worth checking out. 
Thanks for viewing this video. See you in the next.